Hello, you are watching the Star News Update. I'm Lester Kong. The Royal Customs Department plans to increase its manpower to combat smuggling activities. Director General Datuk Sri Ibrahim Jafar says there has been a marked increase in drug smuggling through airports. He says this year alone, the department seized 52 million ringgit worth of drugs compared to 17 million last year. Dan uh, sebagai masalah dadah kita dapat di bahagian pemeriksaan penumpang, terutama di, K- di KLIA. Jadi bila sebut dadah ni, uh, model operandi sekarang ni telah lebih sophisticated. Dua hari lepas, tiga hari lepas kita telah dapat mengesan dadah dimasukkan dalam jaket yang dikeringkan. Eh. Dia basah kemudian dia dry kan, jaket itu dan jadi, jadi dia dry, jadi dadah tu uh, keras di baju lah. Macam kanji ya. Eh. Uh, jadi dan kita dapat rasa daripada beratnya baju yang dibawa masuk oleh uh, penumpang-penumpang yang menggunakan apa ni lapangan terbang. Dan kebanyakan penumpang ni uh, kebanyakan datang daripada Timur Tengah lah. Yep. He said this after a meeting with the department's enforcement heads on Monday. Ibrahim says the department is stepping up surveillance not only at airports but also at border and causeway checkpoints. Rela needs 200,000 members for Kuala Lumpur and Putrajaya but only has 16,000 volunteers. Its Federal Territory and Putrajaya Director, Muhammad Aminuddin Muhammad Yusof, says it does not have enough manpower to handle the population of 2 million in Kuala Lumpur and Putrajaya. He says at present, non-Malays form less than 20% of the 550,000 registered members of RELA nationwide. He says women made up less than 10% of the core. He told this to reporters after launching the second phase of the RELA recruitment drive in Pudu on Monday. For those interested, a recruitment booth will be stationed at the Pudu Plaza food court between noon and 8 p.m. daily. Officers from the Commercial Vehicle Licensing Board, or CVLB, visited the Sunny Express Sindrian Bahad office in Klang. The visit follows Saturday's tragedy where 10 people died after a Sunny Express bus slammed into the divider of the North-South Expressway about 5 kilometers from the Jelapang Toll Plaza. The three-man team, led by CVLB Assistant Enforcement Director Fauzi Muhammad Noor, was at the transportation company's premises for nearly four hours. Fauzi says the visit is a normal procedure to collect information in making a report on the accident. Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, former speechwriter Dr. Munawar Ahmad Anis, failed to get parts of the federal court judgment relating to his sodomy case expunged. Chief Judge of Malaya Tan Sri Arifin Zakaria and Federal Court Judges Datuk Wira Muhammad Ghazali Muhammad Yusuf and Datuk Raus Muhammad Sharif unanimously dismissed his application for a review of the judgment dated December 17, 2008. Justice Raus says the court did not see any circumstances to invoke its inherent powers to review its own decision. Dr. Munawa served his sentence in 1998 but pursued to challenge the court's decision to clear his name, claiming that he was coerced into pleading guilty to the charge. The Thai army began Monday the forcible return of thousands of ethnic Hmong asylum seekers to Laos, despite international protests over fears they could face persecution. Under tight security, more than 2,000 of the Hmong were loaded onto covered military trucks and driven out of the camp by early afternoon towards buses waiting near the Lao border. The Hmong, an ethnic minority group from Lao rugged Jung mountains, helped U.S. forces during the Vietnam War. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Lester Kong. Thanks for watching.